Alrighty. I finished my white over here. And now I am going to put on the next color, which is going to be this. Um, I want to show you that this, this round here, it starts curving for your shoulder. So I put five here, five rows of this variegated color, five rows of this. I'm going to turn around and put another five rows of this. So I'm going to get you started and we're going to repeat the same pattern that we've been doing for the last, for the whole top. So here we go. I ended over here on the front side. And let me get my do a slip knot on my hook and since we ended here we have to turn we're going to do the inside we're going to do a single standing a uh, standing single crochet here and we're going to do our chain three one two three we're going to single crochet between these two single uh, double crochet clusters. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, single in between the two clusters. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet between the two clusters. Continue doing that with your Increase in your front with a single crochet, chain three and a single crochet in your front and in your back. Here's your back. And at the end of five rows, I will meet you back here. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have finished my uh, variegated row over here. I want you to see what the, this is your shoulder that goes straight across. This is your sleeve. Now, you need to put it on and pinch together where you want your arm hole to be. Mine was 19, so this is the front side. I'm going to turn it inside out so I can start on the back side. And... Mine was 19, so we're going to count 19 from the bottom here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And right after the 19th one, I'm going to put my hook in there, and I'm going to count my other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 so I'm gonna put both put my finger in there whoops I'm all wrapped up and we're going to do a standing single crochet all right so what we're going to do now is come over here on your other side and do the same thing. Get you a stitch marker or a piece of thread or something. I'm going to use a piece of thread. So count your not whatever number you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, the number after, the space after, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So there is my two 19s. You would think I could get a bigger stitch marker, huh? So, uh, okay. So what we're going to do is, this is the single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Hello everyone, welcome back. Alright, the um, video that I had done 
for this section right here was on mute. So I am going to try to walk you through what was done, but I will also put up the video so you can see, you can go back and forth, I guess. Hopefully I can explain this and you won't be confused. So when we finished, we finished on the front side. So you need to make sure that you're starting on the back side. So uh, if you remember, the front side looks really nice and neat, what I would say, and the back side looks knobbly. And I, um, I call it knobbly. I don't know what you would call it, but that's what I call it. So you need to be on the back side of your project. So put your top on and pinch underneath your arm where it's snug, all right? And then count your number of double crochet clusters up on both sides and put a stitch marker through both the front and the back. Okay, there's my stitch marker. And then do the same thing over here on your other side. Okay. Now remember, we're on the back side. The back is your B. Okay. So then we're going to turn it around. And we're going to start here in that V. So I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to try to help you through this, see if this makes any sense. If not, I, I apologize. So we're going to start in this V. And we're going to start with the single crochet row and chain three. So let's do a standing single crochet in that V. Just like that. And we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to carry on with the pattern because this is the single uh, crochet row and the chain three row. So we're going to go in, in between those two clusters and place a single crochet. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to go into the next one and place a single crochet. That is all we're going to do for this row. The same thing we've been doing. Place a single crochet between the two clusters. Do a chain three. Okay. Carry on with that. And we're going to go all the way up here to where our stitch marker is. And remember I said you went through the front and the back. So you're going to place a single crochet in the front and the back. Then you're going to carry on with that chain three. There's your chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, and carry on with that pattern till you get to the front side, which you will put a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, the same thing that we've been doing along all along. We're going to carry that pattern all the way up to the other underarm which we're going to do a single crochet between the back and the front. And then we're going to come all the way back down to our original starting point. We're going to put a single crochet and a chain three and slip stitch into this standing single crochet. At that time, we will turn our pattern, which would be this side. You will do your double crochet, uh, slip stitch into the chain three space, chain three, two double crochets, and do three double crochets in all the chain three spaces. So even when you get to, uh, let me see, I'll just leave it like this. So when we do the decrease in our um, underarm, you will do a 
two double crochets, well, it'll be four double crochets together, but it'll be two on this side and two on this side. So let me take this out and show you what I'm talking about. So let me start. Um, Let me start, let me do this one here. So one, two, three, two more double crochets. Okay, this one gets three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, we're working in this, the two chain three spaces here. Okay, so to decrease this, I want you to put, you're going to do a, you're going to start a double crochet, but don't finish that one. You're going to turn around and start another double crochet, but don't finish that either. We're going to go over here on the other chain three space. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start two double crochets, but we're not going to finish them. We will finish with five loops on our hook and we will pull through all five and continue the pattern with three double crochets in the next chain three space. One, two, and three. We'll put three double crochets in the next one and you will carry on. So I'll do that with you one more time. You're putting three double crochets in every chain three space. We're here at the underarm where we have the single crochet here and two chain three spaces there. So we're going to start a double crochet, but don't finish it. We're going to start another double crochet, but don't finish it. We're going to go over here to this chain three space over here. We're going to start another double crochet. Don't finish. We're going to start another double crochet. And you should have five loops on your hook. Draw through all five loops and continue doing your pattern of three double crochets in every chain three space. Okay, so that's your double crochet one and I'm going to show you the single crochet one if we were doing the single crochet row, which I will go down to the single crochet row here and show you how to do that. So on the single crochet rows, you know you will be doing a single crochet, a chain three, and a single crochet. So we're finishing up with that single crochet Kind of hard to do it this way, but I'm hoping I can. I think I did something wrong. Let's just back up one more. Let's start with this one. So we do a single crochet here, standing single crochet. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to go into the next one and put a single crochet and we're here at the where we did our two double crochets together we're going to start a single crochet just by picking up a loop we're going to go over these two that we did before and go into the next one and pick up a loop 
you will have three and we go through all three. You just put two single crochets together. Then you're going to carry on with one, two, three. Go over here and put your single crochet in between the two clusters. The same pattern we've been doing. I know it looks a little crude with the way that I'm doing it, but I hope that this helps. Watch the video and I'm sure it will, oops, help. So that's what you do. And I want to say that it's really no difference between this row and this row. But everything's fine after <laughs> getting this done. So I hope that helps. And I apologize for it not being uh, right the way I would do it. But take a look at it and uh, let me know if you need any help. I'm available. So yeah.